You know better than to come in here, Etel. You are not welcomed here. <laughs> this is my father's compound. Neither you nor anybody can stop me. I dare you to shoot a tail. Since you trust your gun so much, shoot. Oh, I just might. I dare you. And I would love to be left alone with my thoughts. My love, I know exactly what's on your mind and... Do not wish to discuss it with you nor anybody. Like I said, I want to be left alone. Yeah. On my way. Young shall grow, so they say. Look at the book of yesterday. Father. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Father. May your days be long. Thank you very much, Father. <laughs> oh no, Bike. Bike. Please <laughs> Jemba. You are welcome. You are welcome. Father. The first of all sons. 
Today is indeed a great day in the annals of history yes. of Oranto Kingdom. A day that we are going to rejoice. Mm -hmm. A day we will dance and celebrate. A day that we will never forget in a hurry. <laughs> Once again, you're welcome, my son. Thank you very much, Father. Welcome. Indeed, it feels very good to be home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my man. Yeah. One. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like our ancestors have taught us, we are gathered here once again to witness the historic event oh, yeah. of a priest epoch becoming the right hand of the king today. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> once again, you're welcome. Thank you. For Let's proceed in. So the celebration over there. Yes. <laughs> this is how it be. Can he come to my room by this time of the night screaming like something happened? What's, what's going on? I, I'm so sorry I woke you up, but I had the most disturbing nightmare ever and it was so real. So when I woke up, my mind went straight to you and... and I'm, I'm, I, well, 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 as you can see, I'm, I'm fine. And I'm, nothing is wrong with me. Eh? I'm, 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 I'm in good shape. So just go back to your room, please. I'm tired. Just disrupted my sleep. Maybe I should sleep here. What? My room? Oh, no, yes. no, no. No, no. I, I love my privacy, all right? So just go back to your room. Shut our escort you. Let's go. God. Let's go. Come, 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 please. Ah, God. Scare the hell out of me. Bridge, come. Bridgets. I'm coming. What exactly are you doing here, Mr. Benjamin, or whatever you call yourself? I can't remember giving an invitation for this visit, so... Since when do I need invitation to visit? This is the people's palace. For the people of Oranto Kingdom. You are right, but certainly not for snakes like you. I have made myself expressly clear that you should not be allowed meters close to the palace. Talk more of coming into my own living room. So I ask again, what exactly are you doing here? Paraventure, your guards no longer obey your orders. Well, now that I've made myself expressly clear to you, can you delete yourself from the premises of the palace? Robert Ottawa, your rules do not apply to me. What did you just say? No, can, can you repeat yourself? Say that again. 
a real man never repeats himself. May I remind you, Robot Ottawa, your command means nothing to me so long as you're holding on to something that is so precious and significant to me. And what could be that thing that belongs to you that I am holding on to? What could it be? The throne of your Ranto kingdom. Robert Ottawa, you name me the next heir to the throne of Ranto kingdom. All hell will let loose. Mr. Benjamin, your head will come loose if you don't disappear from my presence this minute. Get out. Dare me. Dare me. Get out this minute. No! This is not happening. Your Highness, you have to calm down. Please. He dare challenge me. Who the heck does he think he is? That riffraff threatening my family? No, I would not let it be. Father, who is he actually? Is he not that good for nothing, Benjamin? He is the one! Honorable Benjamin? There is nothing honorable about him. In fact, he is a colossal failure. A complete embarrassment to the people of Oronto Kingdom. Oh yes, not to talk of his poor performance as a former member of the House of Representatives. Now he wants me to name him the heir to the throne of Oronto Kingdom. The throne of my fathers. Over my dead body. It will never happen. Has he gone nuts? You can say that again. Does he know on whose ground he stepped into? Your Highness, I think it's time you teach him a lesson. Exactly what I am going to do. I will not allow this slide. In fact, he needs to be reminded who he truly is. What nonsense! Father, pardon me. But isn't there a way we can settle this amicably without issuing threats? Which other way do you know? Come on, shut up. Do you know what you're saying? Do you even understand what we're talking about? I keep quiet. Go in there and get dressed for going out immediately. Excuse me. Why didn't you share this with me? Because it is not necessary to do so. This is a man's war. Selfish if you ask me. I am your soulmate and should be there for you. Come rain, come shine. Darling, you must reclaim your throne. Tend to do that. Darling, I want you to understand the stuff the Odoas are made of. The Odoas are fighters. Strong willed. 
if they get hold of anything, nothing or anybody can take it away from them. Do not fret, my love. I need you to understand that where there is a way, there is always a will. We can do this. Who the hell does your husband think he is coming into my father's compound and screaming like a crazy bulldog? Excuse me? What inheritance? Oh, you're lucky. Your husband is lucky I was not home. If I were to be home, I would have taught him a very mighty lesson. Oh, really? State where you are and it's on. Oh, I will meet you there. <laughs> My God, I feel just so funny. <laughs> Is that not the part of you wanting to be unwrapped? Oh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you the truth. There are lots of me waiting to be around. You're going to love it. Yeah. That means our marriage is going to be paradise, full of laughter and joy. Of course it will. Of course it will. <laughs> you know, at one time, my uncle wanted me to take him abroad. We started making plans, and I told him he was going to, um, we're going to book his flight and the rest of it. He said, no. <laughs> I don't want the plane. I want to come with my bike. I said, what? <laughs> he said, yes, I'm coming with my bike. Yo, and I on. told him, no problem, no problem, uncle. You come with your bicycle, okay? It's so, okay. First off, you get to Lagos. Then we plan your movement from there. You must be in Lagos first. He said, my son, I'm coming to Lagos. It's so, okay. He called me the next day that he has been on the road for like... Um, Say, I think for eight hours. Eight That's, hours. I mean, to the city, or just to the city. You get from the village to the city. Yeah. yeah before he would have start his trip to Lagos, I spent on the road for eight hours. He just oh. got to the city. Are, are we there? If he was there yet, I mean, if he was abroad yet, I said, Uncle, no, you've not even started. You're still. In, you have to come down to Lagos from the east. The what? To Lagos. <laughs> I say yes. It's okay, how long will you take him? It's okay, from that place to Lagos, it will take you like um, three weeks. You know? <laughs> then from Lagos to the States, it will take you another four years and six months. <laughs> it's like, it's a guinea. So I just told you, and he got the call. <laughs> Can't wait to be there. Oh, Since God. that day till today. He has never spoken about America again. <laughs> I can't wait to meet him. I know, I know. Trust me, you're going to meet him someday. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's just how to deal with this old man. Uh, so that's what happened, man. Are you alright? Right. 
Regina! What is it? I must speak with His Majesty. I want to talk to the King. Is everything alright? Is someone after your life? Where is my brother? I want to speak with the King or the Queen, whosoever who that is willing to listen. Hold on. Is His Majesty inside? Calm down. Are you alright? Is His Majesty inside? Talk to me. What is the problem? His Majesty! He's hiding! Strange. I've never seen her in such manner. Prince Ebuka, you are still not making sense to me. It baffles me myself. I mean, one time we were together, holding hands, whispering sweet things to each other. The next minute she jumps off the car, running wild, screaming for help. I mean, who does that? Does she have mental problem? Did you hurt her? Douglas, you've not been listening to me. Of course I've been listening to you, but you are making no sense. I asked if both of you argued. He said no. Then why not call her and ask her why she was running from you? Well, that's where the problem is. She's not taking my calls. You know what? Give me a minute. Let me put on something better. I'm coming with you. All right, hurry up. Listen, there is something I want to be clear with. Are you sure this was not a figment of your imagination? Because you children these days, your imaginations are always wild and sometimes out of this world. I know what I saw, my king. It is truth. His behavior became so strange and abnormal. I did not even wait to see all that. My son. Back him? Like a dog? You sound funny. Can you hear yourself speak? Okay. Guys, this is a sensitive issue and we cannot afford to sweep it under the carpet. My dear, you are going to calm down so you can narrate to us everything as it transpired. And be truthful while at it. <laughs> <laughs> With what I saw earlier, I can't be calm. No, my princess. No, no, what? I can't. can't. I do not wish to continue the relationship with Prince Ebuka. Excuse you? Who the hell wakes up and blows off an engagement? Not when the marriage plans are on the way with a few weeks to go. Are you trying to break my brother's heart? And I said no. I made up my mind already. Listen, listen. You are going to hold your peace till my brother comes around. And then we can talk things over. My marriage between I and Prince Ebuka is over. You dare not walk out on me. Sorry, Your Majesty. Oh, look at that. She actually left. Oh my goodness, my love, I have been sick worried about you. 
Where, where did you go to? Why did you run off like that? Hey, far away from me. Why? Why would you say a thing like that? Stay off my way. Listen. We can talk about this, right? I already made it clear to your family. Best you go in there and get my message. What's that supposed to mean? Huh? What has gotten into you? Ebuka, I was about to ask you the same thing. Have a good day. Can you tell me how good this guy for me? Why is she acting like that? What is going on? A message. about what Regina said. Hmm. It's reminded me of the strange dream I had. Maybe we should ponder on those assumptions. Ponder on what? Will you shut up? Do you know what you're saying? Ponder on what? From words? From a stupid girl that had no sense? Mother! What? We are talking about Regina. You chose her. One more word. I'll cross path with you. Apologies, mother. Better than you go waste. Why do you want to bring anarchy in Oranto? I thought we have passed that stage now. Oh no. Past which stage? Tell me. Oh no, why can't you understand me? Oh no, you and I know that I will never stop pursuing the dream of my fathers of reclaiming back the throne of the land. But it was a lost war. The gods had to decide. Over decades now, Odua family has always produced king for Oranto. And to whose benefit? Oh no, can't you see it? To whose benefit? Okay, look at Oranto. Oranto is going down. Our neighboring kingdoms are doing better than Oranto. Oh no, why can't you see reasons with me? Eh? Look at our people. Our people are suffering intimidation and hardship. Oh no, this is what I want to change. But you do not need all this to change that. You do not need to sit on that throne to change that. Exactly. Exactly, oh no. 
Now you're beginning to understand where I'm going to. Oh no, I am connected. The president of this country is my friend. Mm. I have business associates here and there. Even friends in all the kingdoms surrounding Oranto. Oh no, if I ascend that throne, I will change Oranto. Oh no, I will start with you. Your lifestyle will change. Oranto will receive a breath of fresh air. Oranto will know what it means to have a connected man in the throne. Oh no, all I want you to do is to convince the council of elders. Yes, to name me the next heir to the throne of Oranto. Oh no, to pronomo oniro. And our people equally said that ni wakariaji apoyanike. Oh no, name your prize. Your husband is being dull. Forgive my choice of words. But he should have done everything possible to take his throne. That one. He says he wants to be diplomatic about it. And you? As his wife, what are you doing? Are you not supposed to be leading the war from behind? Joan, now you they talk this one. Have you forgotten who I am? Now me still be Samantha, Samanque the Sharon Stone. Why? As I speak to you, I am 500 miles ahead of him. I know the play. Correct. Now you are talking. Mm -hmm. Give me five for that. Come on. <laughs> Did you know that? Etel has the guts to embarrass me. Are you serious? I will teach her the lesson of her life. Good. I see if you don't know me again. <laughs> Samantha, Samantha. One. <laughs> I am only one. I am not. I know the play. Dad, I am as confused as you are. I have no idea where she's headed with all she told you. We're having a honest conversation. The next thing she's screaming, blabbing. I don't know. Son, I will perfectly understand if you're trying to keep this to yourself. But then again, Regina is a grown woman. She cannot just wake up one morning and begin to accuse you of behaving strangely. That is the point. Dad, I'm tired of trying to defend myself. I have nothing to hide. All these years, have I ever given you any reason to doubt me? Not exactly. But just that she was very vehement in her claims. That please. And you know what that means? That please. Can we forget about this and talk about something else? At least for now. Please. Son, it's not going to be easy. Because we are already looking forward to presenting you before the Imobi. Since Benjamin is gearing towards causing anarchy in this kingdom. Which Benjamin exactly? The one you know, of course. Anyways, I bid you good night. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Each year. Each year, what I'm asking for is not far fetched. I mean, all I wanted is to take back what rightfully belongs to my fathers. 
the throne of the Oranto kingdom. Never. Each year. Obviously, why in a queer? Each year, how do you think that I, Benjamin, will be alive and watch Robert Odoa name Ebuka the next heir to the throne? You better tell him that it will not happen. Never. What rubbish. My love, calm down. You're getting yourself worked up. Haven't I told you that you're going to be the next heir? Trust me. No. No. But my wife. Do you think it is going to be that easy? I mean, that they are going to offer me this on a platter? Calm down. My dear, listen. Mm. For me to succeed, I need 50% or at least 40% support from the eldest council. And that is my problem. You worry too much. You worry too much. Just calm down. In Afkwage, I don't want you to have the bill. And I don't want to lose you anytime soon. Okay? I know you're already worked up. You know what? You need a holy hand from your wife. I need to take care of you. Come, let's go upstairs. Let's go to the room. Can't handshake. Eh? I, I, I still want to be the next queen. Eh? So I don't want to lose you. Let's go. Calm down. Calm down. What am I doing here? My God. What am I doing here? What am I doing here?
My prince. My prince. What the hell happened here? Listen, you must not breathe a word of what happened here. Do you understand me? Yes, my prince. Uh, but my prince, why, why would you chew your pillow like this? Do you need any help? Are you mad? Sorry, my prince. Are you insane? Sorry, my prince. Do you think I have control over this? Can't you understand the fact that I was having a bad dream? What kind of dream is this? God. <sighs> Ebuka! Who's that? It's me, open the door. Uh, I'm coming! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. <sighs> And the Royal Rumble happened here. Uh, what's that smell? What is this? My room, my privacy. Oh. Whatever happened here is none of your business. All right? You got that right, boy. It's all your business. By the way, Dad wants to see you. I'm right coming. now. Fine, I'm coming. You might want to consider some personal hygiene. You need it. I cannot stand how untidy Ibuka's room is. Come on. You know boys are kings of untidiness. Yeah. I, I hope there are no broken butters. Just some shredded pieces from the pillow. Oh. And a I horrible smell like that. I'll talk to him. No, no, no. Please let him be. He'll come around. I think I better talk to him. Let's see if he's now. Nah, some issues. No. He needs some time alone. Let's go downstairs. Sure. Yeah. Eh, egwe belu, egwe belu. Akwa kesi bi e bela. Akwa ku kwapu ya. Oh nyam. Ise, ise, ise. Oh God, oh God. Ka chuku gozi ojia. Ka ita ojia. Ka ita ya tatando. Na rusi ke. Ise, ise. Ha na ge vurungi. Ha na ge vurungi. O no gu do gu ya. O no gu di egu. Ojia yo bare no. O bare. Ai ga no. Huh? I got no. Uh, <laughs> that is true. That reminds me. Oh no. Our Udoako festival is fast approaching. And the Council of Elders are yet to meet. Oh no, we mukwanya. What is happening? Huh? Uh, we all know that Udwako Festival cannot hold. Uh, without the hair getting a bride. Yeah. But for now, he has a bride already. He has gotten a bride he wants to marry. I'm not going to try to Okay, I'm going Hey, you know, is there anything maybe you are hiding from me? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You just tell me. Oh, no. You mean she told you that? Yes, mom. And 
From the look on her face, it wasn't a pleasant sight. Who made you a doctor? There's nothing wrong with a room being untidy. Mom, I... Honestly, I think maybe he needs help. You see, boys and untidiness are like co-joint twins. So I don't see anything wrong with it. Mother, this is different. Honestly, I still maintain he needs help. It's you that should learn how to mind your business. If your sister, Ethel, were to be here, I'll tell her to stay away from my son. People should leave him alone, go woman. Let him breathe. People want to suffocate him. Oh, happy I got. Every day, English. English everywhere. Oh, good evening. Honorable, <laughs> hey. as you can see, my family is doing well, enjoying my wealth. I mean, swimming in my influence and affluence. So, how are you and your family? We thank God. We thank God for everything. Honorable, why are you here? Are you waiting for someone? I am actually waiting for you. I went to your house and your wife told me that you went out and will soon be in. So, I decided to wait here. Honorable, I have seats in my house. Exactly. I understand. Uh, please do pardon me. Each year, even on the bites in our was if you should like it. Yes, the dog does not run in the afternoon for nothing. Please come inside. I should come inside. Exactly. I believe this is the perfect time for us to act. The way is weak. Honorable, we cannot be faster than our shadows. I know you don't want to cure the rot of the Mobi. Which Mobi, Ichie? The Mobi that could do nothing while Prince Ibuka goes about embarrassing the whole kingdom with his strange behavior. Nobody speaks that. And I would do. Oh, I would huh? say it. It's a come of it. It is a known fact that Ibuka has been acting like a wild and a mad dog. Back in whoa, 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 here and there. Oh, Ichi, why don't you understand me? Huh? Is this the kind of person who will hand over Oranto Kingdom to? When we have capable hand like me that is ready to salvage this community honorable well we we'll suspend this topic we we'll discuss it some other time <sighs> oh?
Hmm. Papa, I do not know that this orange will be this enjoyable. Very sweet. I can finish a basin of it. See me talking. Hmm. Hmm. Were you not the one who told me to cut down the tree? Hmm? Because it gives you work. <laughs> it litters the, the whole compound with the with leaves. Hey, therefore, making you sweep and sweep. Look at it. Somebody yeah. cannot play with you again. Uh -huh. Just play. Oh, your player. They play. That's where you are living. Papa, mm -hmm. the Udako Festival is coming up and you're yet to give me money to buy new dress. Look at it. Did I tell you that I forgot? I don't forget such things. Hmm? Okay. Remind me tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening, yeah. You give me the money. I'll give you the money. Ah! I know what is good for my daughter, so... <laughs> mm, don't worry. Mm. Papa, you're the best. I'm going to start fresh me. What are you mm, I need it, yeah. Papa, don't Come be your Look at this girl. Maybe you should find out if you have a health problem. I feel healthy. I mean, I am strong, in an excellent condition. It's just that I, I feel something is amiss. So, what do you plan to do? That's why you're here. I mean, look at me. I am totally confused. Something tells me that things are not well with me. I know it. Especially after the day Regina jumped off my car and ran off. Oh, I mean, we can just drop it and, I mean, leave it. Why? This may be nothing more than just normal uneasiness. I suggest you sit this one out.
Ebuka. Ebuka! What is the meaning of this? Since when did we start training dogs in the palace? I mean, what is wrong with you? Why are you barking like a dog? With you, Dad, I, I was having a bad dream. It's normal for people to wake up from their dreams crying or screaming, even barking. This is very normal. Except that you were neither sleeping nor dreaming when Regina accused you of that strange behavior. Oh, come on, Dad. Come on. Someone accused me wrongly and you all bought the fairy tale. Ah. She was your bride. And you already know that your Dwarko festival is just by the corner. A few weeks from now. By now, we're supposed to have been done with the traditional marriage and present you as the next king of this kingdom. FYI. Not my fault, father. Not your fault? Oh, yes. She left on her own accord. And Father, you and I know that I have tried very hard to at least bring her close to know what the problem is and why she left. But all effort has been abortive because she has been avoiding me. Not my fault. There is no story that is a lie. The world has no end. And what is good to some people is an abomination to others. Oh, Father, the world can go ahead and believe what they want. One thing I know for sure is a clear conscience fears no accusation. Really? If you don't mind, Father, please, I would like to be excused. Yes. <clears throat> what do you mean the meeting already started? The last time I checked, I'm still the CEO of that company. What? I seriously believe that this is going to be the end of the sex. Thank you. Dad. I would like to know why I tell this convenient board meeting without me. Son, you're right on time to meet a very special guest. My queen, ah. what do you have to say? Ujumwa, the pride of Agwata. Meet the heir apparent to the throne, my son. Greetings, my prince. It's an honor to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Dad, I was asking a question. Come on, son. It is rude and certainly not a mark of royalty to be discussing business when you're supposed to be attending to a wonderful guest like this. Yes. For that, there's still time. There is no better time than this. She is the one that we have picked for you. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take her out and uh, show her some places and a palace? Yes. I wanted to be sure you understood everything that was said at the boardroom earlier. Yes, ma'am. Since you understand, it means I expect the results to be waiting for me on my desk first thing tomorrow morning. Yes, I will. Promise not to fail you. Good. You may leave. Thank you, ma'am.
see. A child can never repay the mother for breast milk. Why do you say that? I was just making a statement. Okay. You're beautiful. Thank you. You see, I hope someday we... <laughs> Are you okay? to my son. He was barking like a dog. Barking like what? A what? dog. How? <laughs> How can I bark like a dog? Were you the one barking like a dog or my son? Because the way I'm looking at you, you look like a dog. What is wrong with you? The next time you come to lie against my son, he and feeling him, Maggie. Are you, are you mad? I'm sorry. Now leave here. Get out. <sighs> Why would she say that about me, Mom? I don't know. What game are you playing, Atal? Oh, please, Atal. What's with you messing around with the family business? And do not try to act in a sense with me. Ebuka told me you convened the board of directors. That was supposed to be Ebuka's job. Oh, please, I tell that you and my other sister does not give you the right to misbehave. You are stepping out of boundary. Our father may declare that none of his girl child is to go close to the business. You have stepped out of the line, Ectel, and I will not watch you do that. Hmm. We shall see. Greetings, my princess. Greetings. Where is Evoka? He went out, my princess. And what the hell are you doing here? You were supposed to be with him. Yes. He stepped out a little this time. When he comes back, tell him I want to see him immediately. It's very urgent. My princess. to take advantage of the situation. Oh, please. You mean the situation you dabbled into? How is it my fault that you are a druggie and now you're a bloody drug addict? Well, tell. no matter what you do, no matter how hard you try, you will never become the CEO of Dynamite Corporation. Well, you are looking at a moving train who is already in charge. Well, only a fool will test the depth of a river with both feet. <laughs> and that fool is you, brother. You! Did you actually think that I would sit back and watch you sink a family company? A conglomerate that took dad years to build. You know what you should do? You should get content with your already damaged reputation. And get this. I am boss.
Your Highness. He looks so worried. What is it? I have been trying to absorb what has been happening with Hassan. I'm confused. Ebuka. Of course he is. It's a book I'm talking about. See, the Odwako Festival is by the corner. And up to this very moment, there is no bride. Our son Ebuka has continued to behave strangely. And it doesn't seem something is wrong somewhere. My lord, maybe nothing is actually wrong. Oh, come on, don't give me that pretense. Of course, you know that we are in a serious dilemma. We need help. Oh. So what do you intend to do about it? What have I done wrong? Who is calling you at this odd hour? Huh? Well, I'm curious myself. Who could be calling me at this time of the night? Just give me your hand. Hello? I can see that the gods are showing you signs. What exactly are you blabbing about? That you're going Yes, the throne of Oranto Kingdom. Oh, it's you, Mr. Benjamin. Robert. Robert Odoa. If you do this, trust me. When you are gone, I will immortalize your name. will make sure that your children enjoy relative peace and tranquility. But it's now clear to me that you have a chronic malaria and you need urgent medical attention. Do have a good night. Nonsense. Hello? Hello, Robert? Robert, don't dare cut this call. Hello? Hello? Robert! How dare him? How dare Robert Otoa drop call on me? Oh my God. He think he can disrespect me? Mwah! Honorable. Doctor. Chief. Nze Benjamin Okolo Mwa Dilkiti Kogu Adoda Nkisi Sinachi Mwa Odogundi Kenine No run to kingdom Robert Odoa Robert Odoa I will show you No soy henabu Kane menko na kwa muro Nkembo, iye ku ya kupe, omulo oku. Nkembo, ise putye na oku, mabanyo ya, onyo. Robert Odoa. Robert Odoa. Darling, calm down. Calm down. His time counts. Soon, very soon, he shall be named king. Robert Odoa. Robot or do a wawa, or at your conangi. At your conangi! Oh no, how do you mean that our prince haven't chosen a bride yet? Remember when we went to. Uh, 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 remember that her name for me? Uh, uh, Regina. It's your name for. Seems your head has been in the cloud for a long time. They have long gone their separate ways. Hey! How? I think that is a story for another day. If there is any question you want to ask, you should bring it up in the next council meeting. Who know who can answer all questions. Uh, but who 
don't know. The drink is set. If you don't mind. I'm tired of this world. The memories. Did you try speaking with her? Like having a chat with her to know why she took over without your consultation. Mm. Itao is stubborn. Especially when she wants something. She has always been like that from the onset. Your father? What did he say? Hmm. Trying to stamp his authority. We all know she must succumb. Because his world is bound. Okay, so now I'm here. You promised to buy jewelries from me, you know? Oh, yes, I did. So, do you have them? Let me see. Come on, my princess. You never told me to come sample. Really? Yeah. I was supposed to tell you. Business woman. Is that how you do your business? I have some pictures on my phone. Uh, yes, you can show me pictures on your phone. Let me see the new orders. <laughs> So what are you trying to say? What? You can't just wake up and call off the day like that. What? My son? Honey, what is it? Judging by the look on your face, I can tell that the deal has gone south. He messed up the deal. Who? After promising to be on top of his game. Who? Who did? Honey. Ah. Ah. Daddy? Ah! Ah! Honey? Ah! Get her! Ah! Honey! Ah. Get here! Get here! I'm taking you to the hospital, honey! Somebody help! Get here, please! Let's take you to the hospital! Bridget, what happened? Uh, we don't know yet. Nobody has told us anything. Etel, where is she? She just left. After accusing you of being the reason father is in the hospital. She said that about me? Yes, she did. Why didn't she wait to say that to my face? So I'll teach her a lesson of her life. Hmm. Meanwhile, where's that? Like I said, nobody has told us anything. It's too late. Hmm. Can I see my husband now? Hi, my husband. The doctor will have to authorize that now. Meanwhile, he wishes to see any member of the family. I'll have to see him. <laughs> You were saying something over the phone. I, I was not hearing you. What happened? Now you're here. Calm down. What is it? The news is all over the place. What news? <laughs> I believe in a matter of time, his death will be announced. And film, my husband becomes king. My love. Who is dead? Honorable. You're welcome. Welcome, my love. <laughs> Darling. King Odoa. He was rushed to the hospital. I'm tired of this <laughs> Are you sure? I have my sources. You can go ahead to make your call. Confirm the good news. <laughs> and start making arrangements because I cannot wait to be the queen of Orant Kingdom. Hey. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> she detests me. Always looking for avenues to attack me. I wonder what I ever did to her. Do not let that get to you. I tell is like that to everyone. There are no exceptions. She better take that somewhere else, because I'm not going to tolerate it. She is your sister and the woman. All you need to do is to avoid her anytime she tries to be a thorn in your flesh. Bridget, 
I am not afraid of the tear. That is not what I mean. You just have to find a way and accommodate her. What if she was your wife? Listen, I am glad Father is okay and you are not to blame. You see, those were the good old days. Basin, I don't walk. You are right in that aspect. But children of nowadays will never understand things, no matter how much you try to explain things to them. Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> that reminds me. How is our king? Uh, has he returned from the hospital? Uh, yes. Odo. Uh, Odo. Uh, uh, has not uh, briefed us on that uh, aspect. Hey, I just hope he stays alive for us. Let him stay alive. Let him stay alive. He say, he say. He is your brother. You need to know why all these are happening with him. You mean I should talk to him? <laughs> My brother is a grown man. He can advise himself. Besides, let's say this is a random situation with a random stranger. What do you advise the fellow to do? To ask for help. Exactly. But my brother is too stubborn and too proud to ask for help. Instead, he wants to sink my father's legacy. It is not too late to talk to him, okay? Get out now. You mean I should get out? Right this minute. Go. <laughs> All right, I will leave. Maybe you're having a bad day. You're giving me a bad day. Get out. <laughs> Her behavior scares the crap out of me every day. Choma, you know me. I can never raise my voice against my brother not to talk of accusing him of putting her father in the hospital. Very wrong. And what did your mother say? Come on, why do you keep doing that? I told you earlier that my parents can no longer control Etel. She is out of control. She respects nobody and she belongs to nobody. See, eh? everybody belongs to someone. Maybe he's an issue. He serves no one no good. Honestly, I pray she changes.
<sighs> Your Majesty, the toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. I have known you for years now. And you are one man that never hides anything from me. I can't say exactly what is going on. Oh no. Appearances can be deceptive. I must be very honest with you. I am deeply troubled. My family's dynasty may come to an end during my reign. May the gods forbid it. Are you trying to talk about Honorable Benjamin? It would seem he cannot influence anyone. There is more to it than Honorable Benjamin. This is not about Benjamin. Oh no, we need to do something very fast, otherwise. We will lose the throne to others, and our Ranto kingdom will be at the receiving end. Hey, Buka. Why are you not listening to me? Well, that's because you're not making any sense. How can you even suggest that? How? I'm offering you a solution. A way out of all this. Listen, have you ever thought to yourself that you might be having a spiritual attack? Oh, please don't even go there. I don't believe in such superstitions. I don't. Have you tried to kind of notice that all these always happen at the nick of your breakthroughs? Hey, think. Think, Ebuka. Why don't your thoughts and agree with me that these are no ordinary events? Douglas, I am Prince. I've got blue blood running in my veins. All right? That does not make you immune to spiritual attacks or even physical ones. Of course it does. My father told me the blood of my forefathers runs in my veins. So, I am covered. All right? Stop all that stuff, please. Stupid talk. What did you say? You heard me. Stupid talk. <laughs> My love, breathing won't solve this problem. All you need to do is trust me. Trust you? Why? What did you do? You know, when an animal runs dangerously, he gets a dangerous bullet. The Odoas dynasty will fall. It will fall like a pack of cats. And they will have no other option than to kneel you the next heir to the throne. My dear wife, I wish you were correct. All in good time. Relax. Everything will be fine. Excuse me.
Take off your shoes. The ground that you stand is a sacred ground. Welcome, Your Majesty Robert Odoa. He knows me by my name. How come? Nothing is hidden from the eyes of Ubene. You need to take things easy with your soul. And you also need to be there for mom. Mom is fine and strong. She always has the ability to manage two siblings' fight, So it's not a problem. Just don't know why this is coming from one strong head, your sister. You're right. My sister. I just hope Someday peace reigns in the family. What? Wise one, you must forgive my outburst. But you are not right. You missed that one. I mean, it's preposterous. The gods do not lie. Through the years I have overseen the affairs of Ubene, they do not lie. And they have saved so many dynasties. How can that be? Wise one, can you please tell us in a language that we will understand? We are lost here. Yes, I will tell you. I will tell you exactly the way the gods showed it to me. Father, you know that I'm capable of handling your company. You had no need to involve Ibuka and cut his abroad tour short. That is because he is my true heir and the crown prince of Oranto Kingdom. He is more qualified than you are, you know it. Above all, I cannot afford to be sentimental in a sensitive matter like this. Your heir, you said? You heard me. Father, I am your daughter. Your own blood. I may not have access to your throne considering my gender, but Ebuka is in no way heir and CEO. Unfortunately, both are not under contention. But not to worry. Very soon you'll get married. And I promise you that you're going to get a good settlement. You just take care of yourself, okay?
Me? Here you go. If you don't mind, I would like to be there while the sacrifices are going on. Okay. The money will be enough to buy anything needed for the ritual. Good. Trust me, he will crow like a dog. I'm taking this to the prince, my princess. Is that his food? Her Majesty told me to offer the homemade oba to him before the main course. Drop it. Okay, my princess. Go to my room and bring me the jewelry on the table. Okay, my princess. Apologies, my princess. I didn't see the jewelry. You're useless. Get out of my way. Okay, my princess. Come back. The food. But, okay. Thank you, my princess. Let's not keep them waiting. Yes, that is the truth. Yeah. I mean, you don't expect me to sit back and watch her finish the whole thing. And you had your shots on always placing your orders. Listen, I think we both should concentrate on our meal before we regret it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Tastes good. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Like Mama's food, actually. <laughs> Are you okay? <coughs> Are you okay?
life of your son hangs in the balance. The spell on him is expected to end his life and you will have no heir. What? Wise one, he is my only son. As the days go by, he will begin to have different experiences that will begin to wear him off. Trust me. He may not survive it. Wise one, what is the solution? How can I save my son? Oh, Adele. What could have gotten into you, wise one? What is the way out? You need to find the base of the spell that holds the key. Because it was prepared by a wizard of the First Order. But wise one, where and how can I find this key? Do I have to ask a tell about it? No. It's in your house. In her bedroom, to be precise. As soon as you get hold of it, smash it to the ground. And your son is free. Wise one. Is there any other way this spell, this key, can be destroyed? Startled me. I mean, I had no idea anybody would still be awake, least of all you. Especially when your guilt stares you directly in the face. You see, when you touch the part of the heart, you see that part, that side, beating, looking as though it wants to pull out of your face. Now that is guilt. Daddy, you realize you're mumbling words now. Shouldn't you be in bed? I know what you did. But what I don't know is why you've decided to reward my kindness with evil. <laughs> reward your kindness with evil? What are you getting at? I know what you did to my son, my heir. But how could you bewitch your own brother with a dog spirit? How could you? Well, well, well. Apparently the cat is out of the bag. Well, I did what I did because you relegated me to the goddamn background. Kicked me to the side and made me feel all alone. Made me feel left out. And that is because that is where you rightly belong. 
excuse you? Your original place, oh yes! What are you saying? That is because you are not my biological daughter. It's quite unfortunate that you have to find out this way. And now you are in my home. Look at what you are doing to me. Bewitching my son with a dog spirit. the revelation, I began to ask myself some salient question. Where did that little innocent girl go? I mean, what happened to her free spirit? Now you know the truth, right? Now listen to me. I have made every arrangement to see that you are properly settled. And on that note, you are leaving my palace first thing tomorrow morning. Daddy, no. Please. I'm sorry. We can talk things over. That is too late. Daddy, please. Too late! Now, be kind enough to undo the spell you did to my son.
Honestly, Dotha, we are so glad to have you back after the stress of school and NYC. Thank you. Once Daddy. again, you're welcome. Thank you, Daddy, <laughs> and thank you, Mommy. It's okay. <laughs> I'm happy to be back. I mean, now I can spread my wings and fly away. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and now that you're done with serving your father's land, yeah. the world is at your feet, my dear. I know, mommy. Yeah. I know. Cheers. Welcome Cheers. back. <laughs> Thank you for making us proud. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. for you to follow. Did you follow them? Honey, when did you start sleeping in the couch? Honey? Ah. Honey? Almighty Iroko has fallen. The pride of Oranto Kingdom has gone to join our ancestors. Arume. Well, we need to make preparation for our late king interment. His last of her. Yes. And uh, your coronation as the next king of Oranto. I am aware of that, you know. And equally ready. Please keep everything ready. Okay. Thank you.
Officer, why double cross my car? You're under arrest. Under arrest me? Yes. For what? Because of the mother of the king. Can I see your warrant of arrest? Human in cold blood. Just talk to me now. I did not kill him. But you wounded him. You're always reminding him to make you the head to the throne. Now you've killed him to become the king. Officer, I am honorable. I may remind you. Blue blood runs in my veins. I am royalty too. And it might interest you to know also that Oranto Kingdom has tradition. A well-respected one at that. I can never on my own make myself king. But for me to become the king of Oranto Kingdom, the Mopi must entoss me. But with money, you're willing to buy everybody over. Now you've killed the king, Odoa. <sighs> you've killed him. Officer, I want to speak to my lawyer. <sighs> you want to lawyer up, but remember, you're going to jail.
I mean nonsense of the accusations. I would want to squeeze life gently out of that man myself. Say no more. They have nothing against you. I'll get you out of here. Good. Do it. It is my job. Get ready, sir. What do you mean he has been released? What happened to going to court and charging him for murder? I gave you every evidence you needed. You know what? Forget it. Everything all right? Who was that? The police just called me now to tell me that they just released the suspect. He killed my father. Why is everyone finding it so difficult to believe? Do you have evidence to support your claim? I mean, it can't just detain him without evidence. Evidence? He threatened my father. That's my first evidence, and there are witnesses to that. You know, even if they are enemy courts, they too must need facts and not hearsay. He killed my father. I know that. Without evidence, it leads to nowhere. Dream again. Same dream again. What's happening to me? What, what's happening to me? of our father's death. How can I monitor an adult? I was worried because I had you drove in and a few minutes later drove out. So I was thinking maybe if you saw something or talked to daddy before he died, What did you two talk about? The office? Hmm. Take me to the place where there is no one to crucify me. I'm tired of this world. The memories I see, they always haunt me. Oh, 
cut you out of the family company. If you're getting the throne, then I am getting the company. It's hell! You must be sick in the head to think you have the right to decide who gets what in this house. Did I remind you? I am the heir to our father's company. <laughs> I laugh at you in Mandarin, my friend. Look at you, little butterfly that thinks it's a bird. Enough! What is wrong with both of you? Your father is barely caught and you're here at each other's throat already. Etel, he is your brother, the heir apparent to the throne, the CEO of the company, and you must take instructions from him. <laughs> Mom, I am very sorry to disappoint you, but like I said earlier, if he is getting the throne, I am getting the company. Etel! You have a problem with that, brother? Go to the sidewalks and eat some grass. Will you stop it? Don't oh, look. ready. For war. You're ready for war. I promise you war. I would love to see you try. And then dog. She just called me a dog. No, no, no. Mom, she just called me a dog. No, 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 no. She called me a dog. No. You are not a dog. You are the heir apparent to this throne. My son, the CEO of the company. A dog, mom. Not dog, okay? He's the heir apparent to the throne, my son. Okay? It's okay. Sit down. It's okay. You should calm down. Excel! Mother. Yes. Why don't you take the bull by the horn? You are the vice president of the company. Lock Etel out of the office. My dear, I am a ceremonial vice president. I don't have the powers to install law. Etienne is just bluffing. She won't get far with her quest. Trust me. Honestly, I don't get it. I don't understand why she's adamant of frustrating Ebuka. He is the heir apparent to the throne. Leave her. At the end, she will succumb. Succumb? Yes. <laughs> Honestly, Mom, I don't think so. Etel is taking it personal. Don't worry yourself. Your father's death is a painful loss. But your father was so healthy. No one would have suspected him to die so early. He was murdered. What did you say? You heard me. Something just doesn't feel right about this. There is more to this than meets the eye. But anything could have happened. His blood pressure, heart attack, I mean anything. My father doesn't joke with his health. Courtly hell checks at um, Oka, South Africa. But unfolding events, has got my instinct on how I lot. Well, don't you believe me? You don't know what I believe. So now that you have your suspicion, what are you going to do about it? Honestly, I'm afraid of what she would do. She can do nothing, all right? She has no right whatsoever to drag my father's assets with me. No right. Prompting me to ask a very important question. Which is? Are you sure Etel is our blood sister? Oh, come on, Bridget. Come on, Bridget. Of course she's our sister. I only talk like that. Let's go inside.
You want me to help you scratch? Help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. Help me. Listen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Help me. Can I, can I take you back home? Huh? Let me take you back home. Oh, okay. Well, help me. Thank you so much, my prince, for helping out even your morning state. Please do not think I'm selfish. Oh, come on. It's nothing. You see, I'm glad I could be of help. Huh? So how are you doing now? Better. It was all a stupid idea sitting under that cost tree. <laughs> you call it cost. Don't forget it was a source of shelter. Yes, but... Uh, please excuse me. Okay. Um, hello? Yes. Now? All right, I'll be there in a jiffy. All right. Is everything okay? Oh, yes, everything is fine. I just um, need to attend to a meeting right now. Okay. I guess I'll get to see you some other time. Hmm? Sure. Take good care of yourself. All right, thank you. And be careful of the cost tree. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. My queen, is there any other thing you want me to do for you? Mm. Mm. It's okay, you can go. Okay, my queen. Mm. Have you given a response to my father's requests yet? Mm. You know I hate to be ignored. You equally know that I hate to be relegated to the background. How many times have I told you what are these cuss words around me? I'm sorry, mommy. But my father is still in charge of his company and this kingdom of Orlando. I am my father's daughter. I am equally co-heir to Dynamite Corporations. I deserve to be on that board discussing the real project. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Ebuka, your brother, is at the helm of the affairs. And we are confident that he will pull through. So, sweetheart, if you don't mind, allow me to enjoy my stay. You can have some. Excuse me, mommy. Excuse me. Mm. This is not Prince Ebuka. My Prince. My Prince. My love. Sorry it was a slip of tongue. Are you? Are, are you angry? What are you doing here alone? <laughs> my Prince! My Prince!
So I've been dreaming. Don't say that. Your action is going to tear your family apart. You've not been listening to me, Douglas. My father was murdered, killed, right in this house. The evidence. Well, I secretly requested for an autopsy. And the result confirms my suspicions. What? And what did he say? I... Hi, Chris. Yes. Some people are here to see you. Are you expecting visitors? Yes, I am. I don't know what it is about your sister. I don't know why she's so obsessed about this company. Why is she behaving this way? A very worrisome situation. Father already set the boundaries. Welcome, son. Etel has been arrested by the police. Honestly, Ebuka, this is a bad idea. I know you want her out of the company because of her behavior, but this is going too far. No. This is the right idea. Father died a healthy man. His death was not natural. It will be selfish of me to ascend the throne without finding out exactly what happened to my father. Yeah. You're right. I also have some questions about that night. Bridget, is there something you're not telling me? No. There is no need making mountain out of more wheels. Let's wait for the police investigations. Can't wait to see him again. He's so charming and handsome. Calm. Look at the way he was smiling at me. <laughs> oh. Papa? Papa? Come. Did you lose your ears or what? Look, I called you several times and you refused to answer me. And you are here. Now, run to Iche, Ichefu's house. Tell him to remember the meeting we have at Ono uh, compound. Papa, why not call him on phone? Osun. Osun. Call him on phone now. Come on, come on. 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 Never, 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 never romance. Eh. Come, what else going on about this girl? Young lady, listen to me. Listen, young lady. I need you to be very honest with me. Kill the girl! Chimo, I don't know. I swear. I do not know what happened or who killed His Majesty. So, what did you do on that fateful day? <laughs> it was 9 o'clock p.m. After serving dinner. And there was no much activities after dinner. <laughs> 
That was when it happened. I can't kill your majesty, believe me. I don't know how it happened. <laughs> I don't see anything now. The place is just at the gatehouse. And before I close Did for the night. sleep? Uh, no. I just sit at the gatehouse. Where I can see all corners of the palace. And? Nothing. Did you notice anything unusual that night? You better think hard. Because presently, you are a prime suspect. Hey! Miguel! Wait, 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 wait. The last person that came home that night was Princess Ethel. And? And she went out after a few minutes. Did she tell you where she was going? Ah, no. You! are holding me against my wish. I only called you for questioning, and you are not even cooperating. I need my attorney if you want me to cooperate. Who killed your father? <laughs> if you have suspicions, do your job as detective and make your findings. Actually, I didn't mean to kill him. He just started acting up like an imbecile. How do you mean? That day wasn't the first day I found out that I was adopted. Prior to that time, I already knew. Your Majesty. Have you been able to inform Ethel about a real parentage? Oh no, I must be honest with you. I didn't do that because it was not necessary. Someday she is going to grow up and get married, and the rest will be history. I quite understand. But then she still deserves to know that she was adopted. Because I see this creating a big problem in the future. The most important thing is the fact that she is happy. We have given her a good life, a wonderful education. That is the most important thing. Uh, of course. She will be very grateful for that. But I still insist she knows the truth. Yes. Is that what you think? Of course. Deserves to move to Mr. Serta, you don't look alright. Not alright. I feel like squeezing the jelly from their eyes. Easy. How could they have kept this secret from me all these years? Easy. They are still your parents. They are thieves. They are thieves. That is the only word fit to describe them. I understand how you feel. But they may have reasons for withholding such information from you. No reason will suffice. I need to leave. I need to go far away where no one will find me ever again. What did you say? And leave all this behind? Don't forget that your family is the oldest dynasty and wealthiest. So, 
Make the best use of the opportunity. Ebuka is an only son. Why not begin to plan on how to take over the company? Think about all that money. What the hell? Now you know the truth, right? Now listen to me. I have made every arrangement to see that you are properly settled. And on that note, you are leaving my palace first thing tomorrow morning. Daddy, no. Please. I'm sorry. We can talk things over. That is too late. Daddy, please. Too late! Now be kind enough to undo the spell you did to my son. Plan B. A plan B? You got that right. Oh my gosh. And that could be. <laughs> you have to figure that out by yourself. But as we speak, the ball is already set in motion and it's rolling in the court. So by the time you go and come back, I'll be bailed. And I'll be proudly coasting my way home. And then, at the end of the day, it will mean that the cock has come home to roost. Hello, son. Where are you going to? <sighs> I went for a meeting, Mom. A very important one. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Who did you go with? This one, I'm seeing all the guards in the compound. Mom, I can always do without the guards. Besides, there's no cause for alarm. So we have enemies. Uh, Etel is the only domestic enemy I know. And the last time I checked, she's still in police custody. You're wrong. She has been released. What? Yes. No, 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 no. <sighs> Sorry, Mom. I'm leaving the company now. God. time. What has been keeping you? No time for questions. What's the update? The deed has been done and as we speak, we are all set to leave the country. There is no time. Our plane is waiting. I'm already moving. Start coming, Edgar. Okay. Okay. I have just one more thing to do. I said I have one more assignment to do. Why is that so hard for you to understand?
Jane, let me call you back. Yes, thank you. Mother, what is it? And please do not tell me you're fine because the face says it all. What is the matter? Your brother might be in trouble. There is no need to be worked up. Maybe you are just being paranoid. Yes, you know. I am being paranoid because my son is in danger. But one thing I don't understand is how he left the four walls of this palace without the guards. How could he do a thing like that? Trust me. They will be fine. He has the real blood in him. He will be fine. I wish my husband were alive to take charge. All I need right now is wisdom. Lots of wisdom, oh no. Oh. Greetings, my queen. The food is prepared and lunch is ready. Don't go hungry. Get out. Get out. All you know is food. Food, food, food in this house. I must take my leave now. No, 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 no. No, please don't go. Stay a bit longer. I can't stay alone in this palace. Oh, my queen. The palace is guarded. And. The council is meeting concerning the coronation of Prince Ebuka. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I will see you again tomorrow. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, my son, oh, God. Oh, God, my son. Hi, Mom. Why you killed my husband? Put it down slowly, Janet. Put it down slowly and calmly. Put it down, damn it! I'll blow your fucking brains out!
about my son. Don't worry. Mm. Okay, we'll find him. Okay. Do you know anything about Douglas? Uh, what about him? I was told he's part of the accomplice. Do you know of his whereabouts? He's only my son that can answer that. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, Your mm. Majesty. Sorry. Wake up! Papa! 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 Somebody help me! Papa! Please, wake up! Okay. What is it? Grandma, what happened to him? Wake up! Papa, please help me! Help me! Please! Please! Wake up, please! Let's, wake up! Let's take him inside. Let's take him inside. <laughs> the way. Please come down. You're fine. <sighs> now that you have found his car, what about his body? We can't say, my queen. We are thinking he was kidnapped. And that's just a theory. Are you, are you, are you gazing? No, Your Majesty. I'm not. My, my men are out there looking out for him. And his car has been towed to the police station. What about his friend? Douglas. Son? My son, are you okay? I'm fine. You get me worried. Detective. Hello, my prince. I'm so happy you're back. What actually happened? It was an accident. That's all that I can remember. Let's go and sit down. I I woke up in a house. You see, 
Nkoli and I have known each other for a while now. But the mystery I do not understand is how I got to their house after the accident. Although her father and her announced me back to health. Thank you so much, my daughter. Do not mention my queen. Detective. Yes, my prince. The last time we spoke, you told me a tell has been released. Yeah. She has been rearrested. And your friend, too. We're told it's part of the plan to siphon money from the company. Douglas. Why, Douglas? Douglas, why? I thought you were my brother from another mother. How come you've been dining with my household enemy? You didn't come here for answers, I presume. I came here for answers, moron. How can you be a friend and a foe at the same time? How? Because you were selfish. You were selfish, Ebuka. I can't believe this. I just can't believe this. You look me in the face and call me selfish. Douglas, who was there for you when the financial crime unit almost locked you away? Who was there for you when you lost your parents and you had no penny to your name? Just in case you've forgotten, I'll tell you who I was. I was there for you when everyone else deserted you. Yet you looked me in the face and called me selfish. After all I did for you. I hope you rot in jail. My name is Douglas. I'll be back, Ebuka. And I promise you, our own war is about to begin. much for being so honest with me, Douglas. But I'll tell you this. I will be waiting. Justice has finally caught up with her. Thank God. Let's not bring that up. Well, we past that now. I know. So, how is the preparation coming up? Smoothly. The Royal Hotel will be stopping by today. Wow. It's really happening. I am yes. so happy for you. I'm happy, Koli. I mean, for the first time in my life. Everything is taking perfect shape. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? It is. <laughs> <laughs> so happy, bro. 
Seen the way it went. We have Arthur and she has accepted. So there is no need to be labeled the scroll of the fantasies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. Is, eh? uh, so um that is how it is done. Yes. Uh, you cannot uh, bring anti caligo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, things are done one after the other. Eh? Mm. Since she has accepted, we have accepted. That is the way it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, what you have come with, we shall consume yeah. as a sign of acceptance. Mm. Yeah. So, Ella, oh, no. you know, oh, yeah. so, no, no. the four market days of Ibo and the K. Oh yeah, for uncle. That is our fee, you know. Abale no ki buena azu. Ah yeah. He shall be well with you on eke. Sense. He shall be well with you on oye. Sense. He shall be well with you on afo. Sense. He shall be well with you on uncle. Sense. You shall see your children. You shall see your grandchildren. Wow. You shall see your great grandchildren. The blessing I give you today shall go with you all through your life. Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. yeah? You have come in peace, you shall go in peace. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. We accept all this as um, a sign of acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. My prince, uh, you're welcome to my airboard once again. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yes, so what you have brought, we shall consume mm. as a sign of uh, acceptance. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let us uh, start dealing with uh, this. Uh, we have uh, got the, 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 the number. Stop fooling me. Stop fooling me. You keep fooling me. What's your problem? What is your freaking problem? Don't tell me to calm down! Slowly. For what? Let me do this. Do what? Peace. Is watching me sleep. Oh, yes. And I have every right to watch my queen, the one who has brought light into my life. Long live my king. Oh, 
Crucify